Hi everyone, welcome back to my playthrough of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. Uh, in the last video, we got to Hamelin and we picked up all of the side quests and had a look round, got all the chests and stuff like that. So in this video, what I want to do is um, speak to one of the guys um, who's outside the black market, but we're not going to go there just yet. And then after that, we're going to do what he wants and do the bounty hunts. And we're going to go head to uh, the fairy ground just to give one of the fairies, um, I think it's restraint or courage. We're giving him some piece of heart <laughs> just to finish off the quest. So let's get straight to it. Well, there you have it. It was all an utter waste of time. A waste of time? What do you mean, sir? It's my sister, you see. She has always been poorly and I have devoted my life to trying to find a cure. Gee, it sounds like you've both had a hard time. I hope you find that cure for her soon. <laughs> I was on the verge of completing a remedy I felt sure would cure her, but now I wonder why I bothered. Huh? But you were nearly there! I fear it has been fruitless exercise. All those years I wasted. Bah! Perhaps nothing can be done for her. I am not going to spend the rest of my life on a fool's errand. I did my best, but it is over, and she must accept that. Er, uh, Mr. Drippy? I think this man might be... There's Sharp Ollie boy. You've got it in one. He's heartbroken. And no mistake. Lacking kindness, he is. If things stay like this, his sister will never get well, and he'll never be happy. We have to do something. There's good of you, Ollie boy. Now remember, it's kindness we're after. Scribble it on your hand, so you don't forget. Hang on, you got a spot of kindness by there, ain't it, Ollie boy? What are you waiting for? Cast give heart, mun. Yay, let's cure him. What in the world have I been playing at? Dawdling here while my dear sister suffers. Neato, you got your kindness back. Now you're cured. It's time to cure your sister. You have my deepest gratitude. Now, on with my research. Ah, but it almost slipped my mind. Please accept this as a token of my appreciation for your sterling work. You have saved two lives today. Cool. And as you can see, he's still blinking, so he has another errand for us. This is a calamity. My supplies have run dry, and I was so close to finishing. Is something wrong, sir? I was on the verge of completing this medicine for my poor ailing sister, but I have run out of ingredients. Jeez, what rotten luck. You must be real worried about her, huh? Yes, indeed I am. At present, she is convalescing in Castaway Cove, but if I could cure her, she could home and live with me. You mean she's stuck there until you finish making her medicine? Jeepers, no wonder you're working so hard. I actually have a small favour to ask of you, if I may. Would you be so kind as to collect some feel-good fungus for me? Yes. You would? Oh, that's simply splendid. That would be a huge help. You should find feel-good fungus growing in the forest to the west of this city. Okay, sir, leave it to us. Thank you so much. Right. So, let's do that first. And I'll show you guys where the forest is. It's not obvious. <laughs> So yeah, I've, um, in the last video, I'm pretty sure I said I was going to catch all the creatures for Derwin off camera, but I've not done that. <laughs> I will, I will do that and I'll do it off camera, but I've not done it just yet. I also didn't go to the, the fairy ground and give the, the fairy the piece of heart, even though I said I would, but I actually decided it's best to do it on camera for the simple reason that now I've got the chart chest spell and while we're at the fairy ground we can actually get all the chests let's cast that now actually 
Oh, right, yeah, you got to do it inside the thing. So when we're in the fairy ground, we can uh, get them. Right, so, if I'm correct, the forest is over here. Oh! <laughs> Didn't even see that, little critter. Clinkity clank. <laughs> oh, that reminds me of uh, Blankity Blank. <laughs> Does anyone remember that? Are you as old as me? Oh, God. Blankety blank. That is definitely showing my age. Oh, my God. Swain's nearly dead. What is he doing? So, I think the forest is actually over here, but I'm just going to get that twinkly spot. Ah, secret hidden forest. <laughs> I thought there was a chest here somewhere. Stand back! Stand back. <laughs> cool. Okay, let's speak to this person. Hmm? Can I give help? I sure hope so. We're actually looking for a feel-good fungus. I heard you have some here in the forest. Feel-good fungus? I know where you can find. Gee, really? So, would you mind telling us? Forage feel good fungus, dangerous. You find only on top of big tree. Only my people can go. I get for you. Whoa, really? That sure is kind of you. But I have request. Oh, sure. What can we do for you, miss? I want special food. I want car rock ache. Car rock ache? My people hear many rumour. This very, very tasty. I swap for feel good fungus. One car rock ache, one fungus. Uh, alright, it's a deal. We'll be back with your uh, thing before you know it. <laughs> right, what she's after is carrot cake. So, <laughs> if you go to your thing, your alchemy formulas, there we go, carrot cake. And that's why I bought crunchy carrots not long ago in one of the videos. FYI. <laughs> So, let's make a carrot cake. Perfect. Okay. Here you are. I got you the carrot cake you wanted. Ah, carrot rock ache. <laughs> Looks very, very tasty. Thank you. I got feel good fungus for you. Swap time. Cool. Right. So, that's done. Let's head back out. Wait a minute, let's just go back in for a second. I've got a funny feeling there might have been a chest in there, I forgot. <laughs> let's just double check if I can actually do the chart chests. I could be wrong. No, there don't seem to be any chests. Okay, better safe than sorry. Oh, <laughs> it was waiting for me outside, waiting to pounce on me. We can do this. I could use magic, but I'm not gonna. Don't really need to, do I? What can I say? It's a gift. Do 
See, I know that some of the familiars are weak to the other familiars, you know, like, um... Well, I was, I'm not going to say what I was just going to say, because it would be a giveaway in the next video, but what I've found is, for example, if um, a familiar is weak against something, if you can use that spell against it, sometimes that still doesn't cause as much damage as just brute strength for some reason. It's a little bit strange in this game. Right, so, hang on. Yeah, let's do these uh, these bounties, get them out of the way. Take on the steam man. <laughs> We're under attack. Now I'll use magic. <laughs> You've asked for it. <laughs> Belly Buster. Make sure they actually defend themselves. Level 30! Awesome! Right, next. I think he's over here. Oh yeah, he's right near the uh, the thing. I'm actually going the wrong way. Or I wasn't. <laughs> Let's get that twinkly spot. on the other side over here and then after we've done this bounty hunt we'll just nip across to um, the fairy ground and do that little errand what exactly is he looking for let's just double check oh bottomless bag double check kindness we don't even have kindness okay right let's forget that for now then There goes that idea. We'll do it later. And we've found some kindness. Let's go. See, that's what I mean. That's supposed to be, when it's orange, it's actually supposed to be what he's weak against. But it's causing less damage than, um, than Gary. Strangely. See, look at that, 108. So, it's a really strange system. He's done. Right, so we don't actually need to go to the fairy ground. That's good news. Right, so let's head back. So we can give that guy's feel good fungus, feel good fungus, and also um, collect the reward on the bounties. I 
I'll have to do Derwin's thing later on, just cause um, it's time consuming, you know, cause you can't always catch them. You have to do loads of battles one after the other until one of them actually falls in love with you so you can catch them. But it'll still be available later. I'm just going to swap out some of the familiars that I've got. Drop off. Look at all these I've caught. <laughs> well, there's a cog one that Derwin was after. So I've already got one. Oh, and there's two. Big mechanical creature. Trust him. <laughs> right. I always think there's a pot there when it's not, it's there. I say, sterling work, you have found the vital ingredient. Now one more push and I shall have this medicine complete. Oh, to see my sister's smiling face. Well, I sure hope your sister gets better soon. Now that I have everything I need, it should not take long to prepare the medicine. I'm truly grateful for what you've done. Please take this as a reward for your efforts. Excellent. Oh, he's got another thing for us. Is there no end to my trials? And just when I had finally prepared the medicine. Is something the matter, sir? I'm afraid things are looking rather bleak. With your assistance, I have finally managed to prepare the medicine for my poor ailing sister. Really? Wow, congratulations, sir. Now you just have to get it to her. Well, yes, but there's the rub. The seas between here and Castaway Cove have been plagued by pirates of late. They say it's too perilous for ships to set sail. Jeepers, that's awful. But isn't there some other way to get that medicine to your sister? I have racked my brains but cannot think of one. I have even considered swimming all the way there. For my poor sister, I would do anything. Whoa, but you can't swim all the way from here to Castaway Cove. Hang on, before you go dusting off your swimming shorts, why not let us take care of those pirates for you? Right, Ollie boy? Oh yeah, I forgot about this quest. Pretty straightforward though, get the pirates. <laughs> Really? You would take those scoundrels yourselves? But they're cold blooded killers. Don't you worry about us. They don't stand a chance against Drippy, High Lord High Lord of the Fairies, and his faithful human sidekick. Well, if you are sure, I would be deeply indebted to you. The pirates are plaguing the sea route to Castaway Cove. Reports say there are a total of four ships in their fleet. Please do be careful, won't you? Don't worry about us. Those pirates won't know what's hit them, will they, Ollie Boy? No, they won't. Right, so yeah, I actually forgot about that. So, that's a good thing to get started with. Instead of going to um, the fairy ground. So, coming up Heather. Oh wait, I didn't go Swift Solutions. It's okay, we'll do this thing first and then when we've done that we'll come back and uh, do the pirates. Only I get MP restoring things. <laughs> Ah, 
So, how are you guys? <laughs> this is why I should stream. So in the uh, in the moments where we're just walking to and from places, we can have a chat, you know. That'd be nice. Well, I just don't think the technology we've got at the moment would be good to stream with. We need much higher end gear. It'd be nice to stream though. It would. I mean, um, it wouldn't be possible to do streams with Craig here as well. For those that don't know, um, you know, if you've not watched out other videos, Craig is my boyfriend who I live with. We've been together about, I want to say, six years. <laughs> and um, he's also the co creator of Amalgamingle. Um, it does his own videos, and sometimes we do videos together like the gaming news so it'd be nice to actually do a let's play together you know and uh, interact with the audience although it wouldn't be Nino Cooney with Craig because he's not that interested in these kind of games well, I say he's not interested but he's just not played it yet which he should <laughs> he should play it I'm sure Craig's audience would be shocked that I haven't played Skyrim as well, you know, or Mass Effect. But these are the kind of games I'm more into. Okay, so there's a four total of these ships, so let's get this one first. See how see how badass these guys are. And luckily, Castaway Cove's just there, so if I run low on HP or anything, I can actually go back there and <clears throat> restore everything. Nope, don't do that. Oh, they are pretty tough, actually. So let's <clears throat> actually use some magic. You know what? I'm going to get him out. Bob, do a bit of cut loose. See how you guys handle that. <laughs> whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Alright, have a bit of that then, see how all of his magic does. Yeah. Have I got any curse begones? Oh, I do. Perfect. <clears throat> right, you guys are getting on my nerves. Right, well there's one down, or two down even. Yeah, cool, but they were tougher than I thought they were going to be. more cappuccinos. Let's see what I've got. Yeah, I can. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, you need fog drops for that. But that's that's fine. Let's just take some of that. Perfect. Don't care if those two don't have any <laughs> any magic or anything. Can't wait until Oliver gets more powerful. I mean, if you have a look at my other save that I've got, you know, he's really powerful. 
Oh yeah, I've stolen Estus Familiar. <laughs> oh, he's got a really weak um, physical attack him, hasn't he? Swain will level up. Okay, let's give Swain a, a health boost. And then might head to Castaway Cove and just buy some strong coffee, I guess. Oh, right, let's utilize Bob there. Do some cut loose. I use that a few times because it hurts them all at once, it's quite useful. not doing much damage though, I don't like that. I mean, he does more damage just pecking them, doesn't he? Go on, Gary. My number one guy. <laughs> Gary's a tough cookie. Oh, you God, Esther always steals me glims. Whoa, nearly died then. Oh, thank you, Esther. See, she can be really useful sometimes. swing because you're the only one that nearly died <laughs> well I guess I did nearly but only because I wasn't paying attention <laughs> oh you're using up all my stuff Swain yeah do you know what uh, there's only one left whoa He's trying to come behind me. Get here, you. Before I do that, let me just... I was going to go back to Castaway Cove, but it's, it's right there, so... Let's just... Jump in with both feet. Will you get here? <laughs> come here. Never known a pirate to run away before. Except Jack Sparrow. He ran away from the, uh, the island thing, didn't he? Oh, 
Don't leave Gary alone! No! guys are annoying, aren't they? Give me a golden glim, come on. I know that doesn't do much damage, but just while while my Griff is recharging his stamina, I'll do this. Make sure I'm still doing some damage. Oh, he's doing tidy tears. Perfect. Thank you, Mr. Drippy. rarely uses that but it's a good thing it restores your health and stuff Almost done. Poor Gary. <laughs> uh, provisions. Let me take one of these. Oh, I'm cursed. Gary. Yes, we leveled up. Okay, perfect. Now let's head back to Hamelin. And we'll cash in all those bounties and everything that we've just done. Oh, it's quite frustrating that I actually already had two of the creatures that Derwin was looking for. So I only need one. <laughs> Grab that slumber nut leaf up there. Something I have never noticed before in this game. I don't know why I've never noticed it before, but the grass moves. I've played this game so many times. Look, it's, it's kind of shimmering. Well, it looks like a shimmer, but it's supposed to be the grass just moving in the wind, I guess. That's pretty cool. 
<laughs> That's the thing I love about this game as well. Each time you play it, you discover something new or see something and you're like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Always has something to offer, something to keep you interested in. Or something to retain your interest, rather. pot refilled and it has cool even the pots have a pig face on them again somewhere else that I didn't really notice last time <laughs> apparently I just go through this entire game blind we gave them pirates what for just like we said we would you did why that is an extraordinary fee I salute you I wish you could have been there to see me in action. I gave them a left, then a right, then another left. Hundreds of them there were. No, thousands. But they were no match for a fairy's fury. Chucked them all overboard, I did. Don't exaggerate, Mr. Drippy. He was just watching most of the time. Flipping heck, Ollie boy. You really know how to pick your moments, don't you? You made me look like I'm all mouth and no trousers, young people today, I ask you. Oh, you are quite a pairing. I haven't laughed like this in a long time. But you have given me far greater cause to smile than that. Because of you, my sister will have her medicine at last. I am inexpressibly grateful. I would like to thank you all for what you've done for me. This is for you. Cool. That's a lot of stamps as well. Right, well, he's done. Let's go to Swift Solutions. Have a quick look. Yep, that's Derwin. I think that's someone who needs kindness as well. We don't have kindness at the moment. There's a lot of stamps here as well. Good rewards too. Right, yep, yeah, that's all the bounties. And we've got three merit stamps, so let's choose wisely. Drop more items, collect glims at the end of battle. All the cost. Hmm. Not sure out of them two. At the end of battle. Okay, yeah, we'll do. Oh, I can't decide. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's a useful one because you know sometimes the battle ends and you can't collect all the glims, and it's it's better if you know. Okay, let's check this board. Yep, there's just stuff there. The fairy needs kindness, which we don't have. That guy needs courage. And Derwin. Right, okay. Have we got courage? We don't have courage either. Okay, perfect. Right, let's go to the inn. And take a nap there because everyone's pretty low on health right now.
And I think this is the first time we've stayed here, so we should get, yeah, a page for the wizard's companion. Cool. Right. Okay. So, I'm going to leave it there. Let's have a look. So yeah, this video is about 40 minutes long-ish, which is the most I want a video to be. Um, I think an hour is quite a long time for a video. Um, and we just want to wanna take this game at our own pace, you know, just a slow, slow progression in the game. It's a game that you can take slowly, which is nice. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video where we're going to just go ahead with the main storyline. So that should be interesting. We're going to grab our, our um, disguises. That's it. Grab our disguises and then proceed with the main story. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.